What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope you're having a good thirsty Thursday afternoon. I got, of course, my number one son. I call him from fitness. Who is back with uh, his new channel, his gig economy? Shout out to MAF Gig Econ. Shout out to the gig economy, as well as his his. What, is this your day job? No, this is what, what job is this one? I don't know what job. It's, it's all work. It don't matter what you call it. It's all work. Okay, all right. We're here, and we're working our butts off as usual. And I'm sitting here thinking, we've had so much crazy stuff that's been going on with the Cowboys. You know, Jerry Jones is talking about uh, if um, Dan Quinn could end up running the team. You know, some people thought before that Kellen Moore could be, become the Dallas Cowboys head coach and so on. In the meantime... We are dealing with Mike McCarthy being the head coach. They need, they need, to, they need to change the whole thing. Well, that's what I wanted to talk about. Because, see, here's, here's what we got. Sitting here, going back to what the forecast was going to be for the Dallas Cowboys offense. When Mike McCarthy was hired, what they said we were going to do with the offense was it was going to be having a West Coast feel to it. And that Kellen Moore would end up using Dak's legs more so in the offense to help um, get better reads and get better um, positions. But enter Dak Prescott having the bad wheel and being limited as far as his running. You could definitely look at Dak Prescott and see that he was not – uh, going to be Lamar Jackson, and I'm not sure Lamar Jackson is Lamar Jackson well, cause um, cause anymore because Lamar Jackson had a hard time staying healthy this year. Well, because of his knees. Well, yeah, again, and that comes from running. So, here's my question. If you look at the Dallas Cowboys, I was reading an article from uh, earlier in the year when the Dallas Cowboys offense seemed to be humming. They were averaging 31 points a game. And Kellen Moore was God. But if you looked at the Cowboys' offense, there wasn't one thing that we did exceptionally well. It was really a collection of everything. So, you know, you weren't the best running team. You weren't the best passing team. You weren't the best under, you know, this situation or that situation. We were just good in everything. That's what they called, or used to call, a jack of all trades. When you're a jack of all trades, that means you know a little bit about everything. But you're not a master. That's it. You're not a master of anything. You know when you go into that restaurant and they've got a um, menu that's got like 50 things on there? You know, you can't be a Chinese food, pizza, and sub joint, and barbecue. Because what happens when you do that is shit's most of it has to be frozen or it's going to be bad because you're not going to sell enough barbecue when you're selling pizza and subs to have fresh made barbecue. So that's why you got to go to the barbecue spot where they focus in on just doing barbecue. That's their specialty. That's where you know you're going to get the best barbecue that's going to be fresh because they're smoking all the time because that's the only thing they do. They're not spending time trying to make pizza in the pizza oven. And then, oh, i got to go ahead and stoke the fire here on the, uh, the barbecue. And then i got to go ahead and i got to slice the meat real thin to do some Hune and beef. Oh, and, and we serve breakfast 24 hours a day, too. What you're going to get is you're going to get a taste of it. And it might not be bad, but it's not going to be the best. And that's the problem with the Dallas Cowboys offense. 
we don't really know what our identity is. I don't know what our identity is. Our identity used to be we're going to run the football like crazy, and we're a run first team. Then we go through, we get Mike McCarthy, who likes to pass the football, but we're still kind of a running team. And see, there's a difference in the type of offensive lineman you have for passing the football versus running the football. See, what you have to understand is this. Offensive, uh, offensive linemen generally like to run the ball more because that's driving straight ahead. That's drive blocking. It's more Nathanderol. Pass blocking is more defensive. You're stepping backwards. You're having to, you know, uh, uh, go where the defender's going. It's harder. And so with the problem of having Kellen Moore slash Mike McCarthy's offense here is we're doing too many damn different things. So hypothetically, because Kellen Moore, Kellen Moore is the guy who right now is the lightning rod for the problems on the offense. I think Mike McCarthy has stepped away from that situation and kind of been, you know, don't look at me. That's Kellen who installs the plays and, and runs the plays. And so here's the problem. If you are Mike McCarthy and you have your West Coast offense that you call, and you're trying to give it a West Coast field, you got Kellen Moore being the one that's trying to install these plays. Are you putting any input into it? Because it doesn't look like a West Coast offense to me. Quite frankly, I'm not sure exactly what kind of offense it is because, again, it's a jack of all trades. And so when you go to that Hunan Pizza Sub Barbecue place, what kind of restaurant is it? Do you know? What, what kind of restaurant would you call it, Mike? Exactly. You have no idea. And that's where we are when it came crunch time in those big games. We were doing some things pretty good. But see, you can't do things pretty good in the playoffs. you got to do things great. And here's my thing. Maybe... Kellen Moore needs to go. And Mike McCarthy should run the offense that he knows best. And that would be just a straight West Coast. And at this point, I think the Dallas Cowboys are in need of an offensive philosophy change. To me, Kellen Moore still spells more of Jason Garrett. And I'm tired of that stank. Time to move on. Anyway, got to Tell me what you think on this. This is a uh, rack that I'm, or excuse me, a cutting board I'm doing for an Eagle fan. And I'm trying to get a little colorful with it. So we got the Eagle's head is bald, it's white. We're going to have the football brown before we do all of this stuff. I got to let the paint dry. And uh, then I can sand all that out to get the detail. I think it's kind of cool. It's definitely different than anything else you have. But then again, I'm really just a jack of all trades. And I don't master any. I guess that's the problem. I'm Mark Holmes, of course, with my son, Michael Anthony, Fitness Reactions and Gig Economy. And I will be seeing y'all a little bit later. Because later on, I'm going to be epoxying all these damn pieces of work that I have. And I'll see you soon.